two real estate agents. One rookie is like a grease stain. One pro. We are buying the property as it is right now. Find out what it takes to get to the top and stay there. In the agents. Pro agent Katrina Dean okay. has built a successful right. career by being able to constantly build on her client base. When I first started in the business, I had no clients at all. Now I have a client base of almost 400. Thanks very much. And Katrina continues to use the low-tech marketing strategy that has propelled her to the top, getting her business card in people's hands. Even one of these cards in the right hands could mean client, a deal, a commission. My business philosophy is keep it simple. I've had success dropping my cards. If doing this means getting even one new lead, then I'm going to keep doing it. There it is, the last card. Let's hope this may be the lucky one. Maybe a deal, maybe a few deals. Katrina found her newest client, Mickey, the owner of a diner, in her own social circle. A lot at stake here, considering that she's a very trusting and loyal friend of mine, as well as a client. So if I screw up one relationship, I'm guaranteed to lose both. Mickey is in the midst of a breakup and needs to downsize. Hello, hello. Hi, okay, are you ready for me? I am. Katrina needs to find her an affordable condo in downtown Toronto. Budget, $250,000. First, Katrina takes Mickey to see a modern one-bedroom condo with ensuite laundry. Current list price, $255,000. Lights, track lights, yeah. proper lighting. Now you're also gonna notice space. So this is the whole of the uh, living area? <laughs> this is it. You would definitely have to get smaller furniture. Yeah, definitely, you'd have to get smaller furniture. But the plus side is it's a lot less to keep clean. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, and here we have property number two. Next, Katrina takes Mickey to see a two-bedroom downtown condo that is vacant and in move-in condition. Current list price, $263,500. Let's just see what the view looks like from here. I guess you could say it's stunning. Okay. The fact that we're actually looking at a roundabout. <laughs> it really is. I can't believe this. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe anyone would call this a bedroom. It's a little pinched. A little pinched? That's cute. That's really cute. <laughs> this is a bed. So walk around me. Okay. Can you get around me? I can get around you. But, but <laughs> it's still Isn't that looking too good? Absolutely. Okay, let's do a queen size bed. <laughs> How's that? What you learn with experience is that being an agent sometimes means being a psychologist. I don't think Mickey's ready to downsize yet. I'm going to have to help her make the adjustment. As a rookie agent, Janice Rushford is just starting to build her client base. Fantastic. Okay. When you're a new agent just starting out and you don't have a huge database of clients, it can be scary. Hi, I'm Jim. Nice. I've met clients at open houses, at the gym. Nice to meet you. Everyone is a potential client. Janice met clients Butch and Anne Marie at her son's hockey game. They need to sell their semi detached one bedroom house in the east end of Toronto. Current list price to be negotiated. Butch and Anne Marie want to move to Newfoundland to be with their daughter and start their own business. But first, Janice will have to deal with Butch's treasure collection. Before I can put Butch and Anne Marie's house on the market, it needs to be looking as presentable as possible. This one right here. Oh, yeah. A little one, yeah. I'm bringing in a couple of ladies that are experts at decluttering to get this job done quickly and painlessly. Hello, Butch, how are you? Maybe you and I should go down the basement and you can kind of point out, you know, what you're thinking really needs to go or should go, that sort of stuff. Yeah? yeah. Is it good? Yeah. And you go, hon. After you. In here, mm -hmm. to me, there is no, no junk. What I would hope is over the next week, between now and Friday, that, you know, the house would be in the kind of condition that would bring the best offer, that we could show it, get the people through the door that are going to bring that offer. This is garbage. Those pictures are garbage. This is broken. OK. OK, come on. Somebody was here, she told me everything's garbage. <laughs> 
Less is more. Less is more. Okay. Tell yourself exactly. less is more. Right. You'll yeah. feel yeah. good. Okay, You'll be cool. so much lifted off your mind. Oh. So the hallway is is like wow. mostly clear. We can actually walk through, okay? My God, what was the magic wand? You know, is this not good? Do you not, this no, is No, this, this is great. Good. This is great, okay. At least now people oh, wow. can walk in and they can see the space, you know? I can you put know? more stuff on there now. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. You did a really great job, you know what I mean? You really... guys did a good job. Thank you. Hi, Mook. Somebody mess, unmess up your room? I'm taking Mickey to see a third property. It's a townhouse, a condo. It reminds me a little bit of the house she used to own, and I think she's gonna like this one. It's right here. Oh, good. The first two, she absolutely hated. But I had to show her the difference between a condo apartment and a condo townhouse. Property number three. All right. The condo townhouse is a two bedroom, featuring a stylish kitchen and a private entrance. Current list price, $253,000. I must admit, I, it, the kitchen is a little bit small, but it's, it's, it is bigger than the other two. You know, it's workable. Got a good feeling when we walked in. It is a bit small, but I'm just getting used to that right now. It seems like a condensed version of the, your townhouse. Here we have our second bedroom. You Natural a light, a little here. bench. I really like I that. You like that? It's a lot more comfortable actually coming in here than it was the other two condominiums. Third time is a charm. Mickey really likes this one. We're gonna put in an offer. But I do know that this place is a little overpriced. Mickey's on a budget, so I have to get this price down. Okay. Janice's client's house is now ready for showings. Janice brings office assistant Mary, who is shadowing Janice, to the meeting with Butch and Anne Marie to set the list price. My goal is to have Butch and Anne Marie set the price somewhere reasonable like 269.9 to attract buyers. So we need to kind of make a decision here on what we're going to list the house at. What kind of number is floating around for you guys? What are you guys thinking? Three. Three? I nearly passed out when Butch said 300. My thought was, oh my god, how am I going to get him to see the 269.9 number? I think it would be better to list the house somewhere closer to the 270 mark. To list Sounds the house, not reasonable. sell the house. And at 269.9, we'll get people through the door. People will come in, they'll want to mm -hmm. see it. If it's worth more, we'll get it. Because the market will way. tell us what's Yeah, okay, we'll think, go with what you right. think. If you think 270 will attract. Okay, so we're going to go with 269.9. All right, let's fill this out. I got Butch to see the price the market was indicating for the property, but he still doesn't seem very happy. This deal's a difficult one. People can get their feelings hurt when it comes to their home. Rookie agent Janice has had Butch and Anne Marie's house on the market for five days. Current list price, $269,900. What we're doing today is uh, we're going to have an open house. What we're hoping is that um, the advertising that we've done, having the listing on the MLS, will get some people in and hopefully the person will buy the house. Are you guys working with an agent or? Uh, we have one. Yeah, we okay. have one. You can see in the kitchen that there was water damage. No, that's actually not water. What that is is like a grease stain. You're not I know too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is terrible. She could have done much more to prepare it, though, couldn't you know, oh my God. Yeah. It was difficult to hear the negative comments, but I really feel that we did all we could to get the property looking its best to be on the market. Pro agent Katrina is about to meet the seller of the townhouse condo and his agent to put in an offer on behalf of Mickey. Current list price, $253,000. They're asking $253,000, fine, but I think that's highly ambitious. So we're going into $244,000, which is actually closer to the market value for the unit. This is the part I really love. We're going to do the dance because I pay full price for nothing. Uh, we're coming in at a purchase price of $244,000. Uh, with a deposit upon acceptance of five thousand. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. You guys have your little chit chat. Definitely. Be kind. 
Well, we will be. All right, Peter. Yeah, right, right, right. You want to we'll get into your we'll new place, but you want to get into your old place. Just remember that. No, okay? of course. Yeah, all right. Hey, thanks so much for your we'll offer. No, truly. Find something. And uh, yeah. we'll, we'll let you know shortly. Okay. Okay. I'll give you about three minutes. No, I'm kidding. I'll be. Okay. All right. Thank hey. you. Okay. See you in a bit. I'm going to go into my second home and uh, wait, wait for the call impatiently. I'm sure Mickey's on pins and needles right now waiting for the news. Janice's clients, Butch and Anne Marie, have had their house on the market for 19 days. Tonight, Janice brings them their first offer. The house is listed for $269.9. I know Butch was hoping for something higher, maybe even $280, and the offer is for $251. You can accept an offer, you can reject an offer, or you can sign back an offer. Do I think we should accept this offer? No. I think that what we should do is consider signing this offer back, like a 267 number. I know. They went 18 down, I'd like to go 18 up. So, <laughs> I know. Well, geez, I could live here forever, so I'm not hard up. No, I know. I really think that we should sign it back and see if they'll come up to us. We'll give it a good try. Yeah, like give it a good go and see what happens. It's just try them out at 269. Okay. So I need, then Anne-Marie, from you, I need an initial there. Butch, don't run away. You're the next one I need uh, initials from. That's fine. What do we do about that? <laughs> Butch? No. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna that sit doesn't here. bother anybody. No, it's no. Two, I'm going to sit 251. here mm -hmm. yeah. I want to sell the house at a certain amount so that I can start something in Newfoundland. What's Without that amount? Two sixty nine nine. Okay. Butch and Anne Marie counter offer at the original list price of two sixty nine nine, almost nineteen thousand more than the potential buyer's current offer. And tomorrow morning they're going to get back to us with with an answer, a sign back. Okay, so it's good news. Katrina has received a sign back on client Mickey's offer of two hundred and forty four thousand dollars for the townhouse condo. They've changed a few things. Biggest change, of course, is the price. They've okay. signed us back at 252. Right. How do you feel about that? Well, we can go down a bit. So I'm thinking that if we want to secure this, we do 250 and that's fine. I'm taking 250 back. Hell or high water, this has to work for Mickey. Wish you the greatest of luck. Wish you, wish us. Got the offer. Mm -hmm. Now we can't justify 252. Okay. Now we're coming back at 250. With all your changes, with the, the uh, conditions, the date changes, that's fine. I'm asking you to please work this with Peter. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Now, trust me, I've been talking to Peter quite a lot, but he's very firm on what he needs as far as what he needs to get out of it for the other place. So okay. what it's going to come down to is all right. We well, have to explain to him that this is, we're not selling his other place. We are buying the property as it is right now, and yes. this is a value of the property he's selling. It's $2,000. Yeah. Nickeling and diming in deals is quite common. However, I never want it to be the deal breaker. If we're quibbling over $2,000, I'm sorry, it has to come from somewhere. What I need from you is just a little bit of leeway with regards to the price. So you won't budge? Nope, not at all. I said that from the beginning and not budging. I'm not going down, I'm sorry. At this point, it looks like the deal may be going belly up. However, I do have a few more tricks up my sleeve, just for Mickey. Rookie agent Janice's clients, Butch and Anne Marie, have received their first offer for their house, $251,000, almost $19,000 less than the asking price. Hey. Janice has delivered their counter offer of $269.9, full asking price, and received a sign back. I do have the sign back from the other people, so I want to show you that. The, the price they signed back at is um, $255. The buyer's sign back is still almost $15,000 less than what Butch and Anne Marie are looking for. What I want to do is to sign back to them. I have an idea of what I think the number should be, and I, I do know. What is process. your idea? They came up like four. I would go down maybe three. No. Two. No. I'm staying at the 269.9 then. I know the way they're working. And if we give them an inch, we're going to get a mile. So the inch is is what number, Butch, and you're in control. Okay, 68,900. 
Okay. Oh, just for a start. Okay, hold just on. Just for a start. No, 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 no. They just, only went up three. What I, I know, I'm I know, three I know. Three. No, no, no. Goals. But Listen. how about this, Butch? How about 267, which is worse? This is serious, man. This is the rest of our life. They went up three, I'll go down two. You go down two? That's medication, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to need you. Medication. Pro agent Katrina meets client Mickey to update her on her counteroffer for the condo. It's been a long day. I just, you know, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news. I feel bad. I really do. We tried. But we got it. We got it! <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so much. For Mickey, I was going to work this. No matter what it took, we were going to get this done. In the end, I ended up discussing with the seller's agent we should compensate the $2,000 from our commissions. Purchase price, $250,000. I can't thank you enough. Woohoo! Yay! All, right. All deals are important. But when a friend is counting on my experience to get the job done, I really want to come through. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Janice has delivered Butch and Anne Marie's counteroffer of 267.9 and received a sign back. Okay. So good news. It is good news in my opinion. We're at 259.300. Honestly, this is a really good offer. And you know what? Looking at all the numbers, it works. It's seven thousand dollars less than we signed back at. This is not going to be settled tonight. Okay, well we it's have. It's just not going to be settled tonight. We have till midnight to to like make a decision. It's like if they're in a hurry, that's their problem. They're not in a hurry, and they're, well, if they're not in a hurry. They what love. Is this? What's they going love on the house. house. There's they, no guarantee that you're going to get a higher offer. Yeah, but why should I go for two sixty when uh, I just don't want to go for two? I don't want to. Okay, well, if these guys walk away... Well, if they walk away, they walk away. Uh, I'm not that hard up. I didn't... The, nobody's hard up, Butch. No, I'm not signing for 260. I'm just not doing it. Okay. So you just That's want me to tell her we don't have a deal? No. All of a sudden... Without anybody else, I want to go talk to him. I think 260 right now seems okay. We take this deal, get a long closing date, so we can go to Newfoundland. Because by the Lord Christ, I'll be taking a trip alone, and he may not be invited, and good luck selling the house, asshole. That's all I'm saying. Um, so he wants me to go tell her no deal. He wants me to go tell her that we have okay. no deal. Bye. We had a conversation in the kitchen where he said to me, I just need a moment to think about it. It's his home. And you know what? I'm there with him. If he sells it tomorrow, if he sells it six months from now, I'll help him sell it. I'm um, tired, disappointed, but still hopeful. Rookie agent Janice's clients, Butch and Anne Marie, have had their house on the market for 21 days. Janice has a new offer from the potential buyers of Butch and Anne Marie's house. We've had, here's the situation. They've come in at $260,000, up $700 from their last offer. I've invited Butch and Anne Marie over to my house to discuss the offer, and if they say no, we're back to the beginning. So what I want to do tonight is give you guys all the information so you can make an informed decision. I work for you, I like you guys, but here's the situation. The offer is good until tonight. I need to know, and no matter what you want to do, I'm with you. You know that I think it's a good offer. What do the two of you want to do about the 260 offer with the April 30th closing? So we think, but we accept the offer. I'll kick it with the April 30th. Okay. If you can sign right there, Butch, your your whole name, please, right there. Anywhere there. That's it. End of April, and you guys are off to Newfoundland. Congratulations, sweetheart. <laughs> Every deal is fantastic for a different reason, but this is really special. Congratulations, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I do. Okay, there we go. Yay. Here's to new beginnings and your new life in Newfoundland. Okay? Cheers. I'm Cheers. proud of you guys. Congratulations. Yay. Congratulations. Guys.
Today, I'm having my makeup done and my photos taken for new feature sheets and new business cards. Taylor? Hi, I'm Katrina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. A lot of agents use pictures on their cards that are about four, five, six years old. I, on the other hand, update my pictures every single year. And we're done. All righty. Thank you so much. If you are ever in need of a real estate oh, agent, great. your diva, here we go. Let's put them on your side. This is your resume. You have one chance to make a good impression. Big smile. At least keep this first point of contact up to date. I want the pictures to say, buy from me. I've been working really hard, but I've carved out a little time for Kent and I to hit a few balls. Hey, Greg, how are you? Not good. Good, good. Do I need to check in? No, he's already upstairs. I'm teaching him to skate. He's teaching me to golf. But it turns out I love golf. <laughs> hey, hey, nice shot. How are you doing? Good, how are you? OK, some average. That, and then it's about the finish, oh, too, right? Finish okay. Shot. Pose your head down. It's a great stress reliever and a great way to meet new clients. Wow. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> Well done. well done. When are you going to be able to skate like I go? Soon? <laughs> Never. Never. <laughs> I love golf. I'm getting good, eh? For more, go to wnetwork.com forward slash the agents.